see what we have here. A force of 125 newtons. Please is excuse applied. the interruption. Would all juniors whose last names begin with F through L please report to Tim Johnson's room to return <laughs> your laptops? Thank you. They will pay for this crime. But carrying on, a force of 125 newtons is applied to a 10 pound, that means pound, box. What is its acceleration? Well, we can see that we are clearly looking for acceleration. Note that the keyword what helps <laughs> us locate what we are looking for. We're looking for acceleration. I like to write acceleration as A. Now, what are we given? So now I go to the problem and I look for numbers. Well, we've got 125 with something called the Newton. The question is, what is the Newton? Well, the Fig Newton is a tasty snack. But in this case, we're speaking of the Newton, the measure of force, named after Sir Isaac Newton. So we are given a force, and I like to write my variable, equal to 125 Newtons, and I'm going to write N for Newton. I'm also given a 10-pound box. What are pounds in this situation? Well, that actually gets a little tricky. Believe it or not, pounds are actually a force, too. But we're going to treat them as a mass in this case. And I'll explain more about that later. So we're going to say mass equals 10 pounds. Our typical relationship that we know from Newton's second law is that F equals MA. So there's going to be a problem here. Newtons are expressed in kilograms, meters, and seconds. No pounds anywhere in sight, because pounds are not actually force. I'm sorry, not actually mass. So we're going to have to change it up. We're going to do a little dimensional analysis. Know it and love it. <laughs> I'm going to convert. I happen to know that there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. I multiply by one kilogram over 2.2 pounds, my pounds now cancel out. They are gone. And I get 10 kilograms divided by 2.2. So, mm, looks like a tricky bit of division. Calculator. Look at that number. That's a lot of fours and fives. That's too many fours and fives, in fact. We're going to have to round that off. Because in physics, no number is ever exact. Because they're all based in the real world. So I'm going to round that to 4.5 kilograms. Ignore this calculator garbage. <laughs> now I see another problem. I see F, I see M, I see A, but I'm looking for A. It looks like M is getting in the way of me getting to A. Therefore, M has to go. I'm going to rearrange my equation. I divide both sides by M. And once more, it's time for cancellation. One of my favorite things to do. Over here, we go back and solve. A equals F over M. Well, now I put in my numbers. A equals 125 Newtons divided by 4.5 kilograms. It looks like my answer is going to be in newtons per kilogram. That's not what we want. We want an acceleration. And though acceleration can be expressed in newtons per kilogram, it would be better to express it a different way. So instead of newtons, I'm going to write what newtons actually are. A newton is a kilogram times a meter per second squared. Now you'll notice that we have kilograms over kilograms, and we have one thing over another. You know what to do. Cancellation. <laughs> Pardon me. Carried away. Now, I can see that my answer will be in meters per second squared. Once again, I resort to my handy piece of technology here. Where would we be without you? 125 divided by 4.5. Answer. Acceleration is 1. 7.8 meters per second squared, or approximately 3 Gs. If 
for those of you who like to think about acceleration in terms of acceleration due to gravity. Thank you for watching, and remember, no fear.